Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John and today I have the crew here for Thicker Liquor and we're gonna try out a new Carl T. Huber's Indiana, Indiana. bourbon. Indiana. Yeah. Let's get into it. All right, so Indiana bourbon. Anyone try this yet? No. No. Never? never? No. Uh, all I know is I've been seeing the Carl T. Huber stuff showing up all over the place. Mm. It's showing up in fancy places. The Starlight Distillery. And Bill, thank you, you brought this. 92 proof, aged four years, carefully crafted. Mm. That's what it says here. Mm, very nice. So they did it carefully, so we know. And batch number 231, if you want to match that up with whatever you got at home. Blend of our three grains and four grain mash bills. Oh, it's 60% corn, 20% rye, and 20% malted barley. That's pretty even. I don't know anything about it. 92 proof, that's right on my sweet spot. Yeah, I could, I could work with that. Right, Jason? You yeah. said you like it a little lighter, though. No, not, not, it's not, it's once you get past the hundreds when it really starts to change. Mm. The heat? Mm. All right, I need a knife. Time out. We got an uncorking, new mm. bottle, always exciting. Bill, what made you buy this one? Uh, I don't know, just walked it through the aisle. Uh, took a shot. Was it in the price range? Yeah, it was a decent price. Actually, it was, it was a choice between this and uh, the Devil's River. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. yeah, we did that one. The nose? Let's find out what it's all about. Carl T. Huber's mm -hmm. Signature Indiana. And, you know, I don't want to punk anybody out from Kentucky. <laughs> you know, but Kentucky's still the true, I guess. The hey, true Kentucky's blues. still number one. I don't care what he says. Yeah, so they might know what they're doing down there in uh, Indiana. You know, it's right next to Kentucky. And they have plenty of that corn. doesn't give you an excuse. Huh? That's still no excuse. <laughs> and what'd you say? <laughs> they got plenty of corn. <laughs> and they got, yeah, and they got plenty of corn for sure. All right, so here we go. Um, cheers. All right, cheers. Let me know what you can taste out of this. Pretty clean, mm. traditional straight whiskey. It's got a nice, nice little bite at the end, though. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Finish smooth. I like it. I mean, I like it a lot. It's good. Some of the ones, they hit you right away, and you go, wow, that's a real distinctive taste. But I'm not getting that here. So this is like one. I'm going to have to work this a little bit. This almost kind of reminds me of kind of like a scotch. Oh. Because of the smoothness mm. and then the, the, the bite at the end. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it just. Reminds me of a scotch. That doesn't really remind me of scotch, but I don't know much about scotch. I know, what he's talk I know what he's talking about. I think he's talking about, well, we might have experienced a little bit of that when that we did the Uncle... Uh, Uncle Nearest? When we did the Uncle Nearest, and it had that bite. We're like, ooh, that's almost like a scotch. Mm. Maybe that's our go-to uh, kind of gut reaction to <laughs> anything that's got a little kick to it. This sneaks up on you. It's got a little yeah. pepper. It comes up yeah. like uh, hot yeah. pepper. Yeah. You don't yeah. know how hot it is till you've already swallowed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. That's the. I, I, I agree with that. You don't get it right away. Mm. It's like right after you you swallowed it, and then all of a sudden you're going, "Oh, I remember that." Yes, it's shifting gears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually prefer it that way. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. As mm. opposed to the biting in the mouth type yeah, of thing. Yeah. You know. It's down, and the and the finish is warm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they're certainly warm. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Mm. What flavors are you getting out of this? I mean, I'm not getting... I'm not getting... I got that charcoal per taste. se. Got the charcoal um, oak barrel taste. Yeah, that that is strong on here. Like, mm. sometimes the caramel and the sweetness kind of overlaps. But this is... You're tasting it. I taste barrel, for sure. Yeah. You guys want to go in again? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me what you think. I love drinking that free whiskey from my brother, Bill. Hey, I got something really cool we're going to yeah, do. Thanks, bro. How would you guys, if you talk about you can taste the smoke, what if we add a little smoke to this? Sounds like a good idea. I got a surprise for you guys. We're going to take it over to the glass, and we're going to infuse these with smoke. Oak, smoke. Oak smoke. Mm. And see what that does to the to the flavor on here. And then yeah. we'll even do a double smoke. Nice. Alright, let's check it out.
All right, check it out. Look at them, and they're still smoky. It's been like a couple of minutes. Check it out, man. Hey, look, you lift it up a little bit. It's still there. Ready, guys? Flip the glass. Oh, check it out. All right, tell me what you think. Instantly, the smell. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. You can definitely taste the uh, oak, uh, the oak coals that you use to fill yeah. cups. Yeah, it's not as sweet as, uh, <clears throat> it, it didn't turn as sweet as I think. As no. we, I mean, it didn't turn as sweet as, uh, as the other one that we did. The double oak. But you know what? Ooh. Good when I got here down to the bottom, like that second hit was a little bit different. A little bit sweeter mm -hmm. towards the second. Before. Wow, that's like, it's like, like a s'mores. Sauce. They're different. I'm almost getting like a s'mores taste. Oh yeah? That one I'm at the very bottom. Like a graham cracker that's it's burnt. smoky, yeah. Yeah. Now that the glass is full, we're gonna do it again. Double smoke it. Now that this glass has got a coating, mm. it changes it a lot the second time. You guys ready to do it again? Sure. Yeah. Do it. All right, so we did it again. Full smoke. Check it out this time. We got it really nicely and smoky. And uh, let's swirl it around. Let's get that whiskey moving around in there a little bit. Now sip it a little bit. I'm telling you, I smell s'mores or taste them anyway. So check that out. Check it out, guys. All right, any difference? Cheers. 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 I'm, I'm tasting that s'mores taste you're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's almost like marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. The second smoke, the first smoke seems to coat the glass. Yeah. And then the second smoke seems to really infuse into the uh, whiskey. Very nice. Yeah. The smell, too. Yeah. Stick. Yeah, I don't know how you get uh, s'mores. Well, I guess it makes sense we're, we're out in the... Uh, and Dan had a barbecue like sauce a camp flavor. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, we're at a campground. Yeah. The yeah. one we did with the with the beam, that tasted yeah, like... Yeah, uh, beam double oak. Sweeter. And uh, that day it tasted uh, a lot like barbecue sauce. Yeah, it ended up tasting like barbecue sauce. This is a pretty cool experiment. And I know, I think they got machines and stuff for doing this, but I like the way we're doing it. Natural, we got fresh oak and uh, that we're burning. So anyway, what do you guys think? Oh, it's wonderful, bad. very nice. Terrific. Yeah. All right, well, thanks guys for trying it out. I, was, I knew you were gonna be excited about the uh, smoky process. I thought yeah. that was really yeah, cool. Yeah, Let me know in the comments if uh, you guys have tried this or you want to, don't burn on your house. Make sure you do this outside and uh, we're gonna get to it, finish up this bottle, and have some fun hanging out here in the country. Thanks again, Dan, Chase, and Bill. Pleasure. Catch you next time. Thicker liquor. Salute. Subscribe. Go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, or the highway. And